Why you take so long? Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim. I don't want to sleep, Mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun, not lights and pictures. You will, in time, children. In time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time, in time. This is where they left. It's a mess. Everything's broken or, or painted on. How long did they live here? I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back if we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now, and take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here, and sleep, and remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave, and you will learn. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, Father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk, then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and blow off steam. Detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Nina, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They were trapped here. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated it. Oh, for identiscan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Lyceum, a place of learning. So, what was this place, exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. Why not? 
Welcome students. Please pick up Hello, the chat. device and My place it on Samir. the side of your head. Today Just is a big your day. Your I first day of school. The the world There's so, so much for there. you to learn. And so much promise from. and possibility. And which no one learn. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Apollo offline? You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. So much promise and possibility. Alert. Malfunction. Apollo offline. Hello, child. My name is Samina. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. There's so much for you to learn. Try access so for Dr. Soda. Please get message Alert. with focus. Malfunction. That sounds important. Hello, Alfred. Yes. I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. The resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time, but in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Uh, does she mean the derangement? You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo-storage to gestate a re-instantiation of Elizabeth Sobeck, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility Obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities, and over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. A moment, Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, 
Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it, that hold all of them in place. It, they are escaping, but to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. What if? Oh, the Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the master override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Identiscan malfunction rectified. Alufia 9. Grade 1 access unsealed. This is going to be interesting. Aloy, forgive, forgive. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy, how? I, I don't know yet, um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes. I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy! Anointed, anointed of, of the Nora! Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy! Aloy. 
anointed of the Nora. Up, all praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this? I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you. And it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for. Not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight, and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy! Way that she may forge the path for others to follow. murderers brought slaughter to our tribe, but they will not escape. <laughs> There's still corruption loose in the world. But it will be quiet. Ain't no one here to speak to that. <laughs> she came out of the mountain. She was Should give me the upper hand. The snow's got a bite out here. I'll find a use for you. Keep that for later.
nutritious. Gotta find a way to override more machines. Good haul.
The way to the mountain will be hard. Ferocious machines prowl every step of the climb. More corrupted? Not corrupted, but they will not tolerate humans. So what else is new? Stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Look at the upper hand.
stalkers in the open. Watchers on the other side. Do they think they're guarding Gaia? I doubt they think at all. More like an instinct, gathering them to her grave. You'll do.
guessing that I'm almost there. Correct. Sacrifice. Did this? Cracked the inside of the mountain like it was an egg? Yes, yes. Quickly now. I've prepared the way ahead for you. So you've been in here before? To a point. You'll see. You made a climbing path for me, but left an army of machines for me to deal with? Since when were machines any obstacle for you? If you could fly, I wouldn't have bothered with a climbing path either. <clears throat> Don't look down. Don't look down. This is exactly the kind of place I expected to find you in, Silence. Thank you. It's one of many workshops I've constructed over the years. For years, I tried to get through this hatch. I drilled, I burned, I blasted. But we both know that you won't have any trouble getting through. You make it sound like I should apologize. Not at all. It never occurred to me that the way through would not be with force, but with a key. A key in human form. The failure of imagination was mine, not yours. In her message, Gaia said we could restore her, but... after seeing the damage, how could that be? She said... Any effort to repair her must come after Hades is destroyed. I concur. Rebuilding the terraforming system now might allow Hades to use it as a weapon. Because of Gaia's sacrifice, it has been forced to search for means that are less... convenient. But... do you think it's even possible to restore Gaia? You know what the cauldrons are capable of. How they fabricate any technology necessary to create a machine by the same principle it should be possible to replicate every technology necessary to repair Gaia but that would take years and we're counting the time we have left by the hour looks like you've spent a lot of time here 19 years ago a great explosion destroyed this mountain Gaia's death your birth the echo could be heard as far as the claim. Ash darkened the skies. How they fretted in Meridian as they tried to read this omen. The crater burned for weeks, but when it cooled, I was the first to behold what lay within. Over time, the machines closed ranks to protect it. Useful. Soon, no one dared to come here. Except me. 
I thought you might actually be here this time. Actually, here. Why? My presence is unnecessary. You don't need my help to pass through this door. You were the one born to do this, not me. It's time for me to head in. Yes. When you find the Master Override, you will gain the power to defeat Hades. Everything depends on you. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are cleared to proceed. Mind your footing. Logging arrivals, Shan Margo. Welcome to Frozen Hill. Population 10. 11 counting Gaia. Don't count your chicken embryos before they incubated, hon. She's still firing up. Be a while before you eat that omelet. I'm vegan, Travis. You'd think we'd worked in the same secret base long enough for you to notice. We weren't scheduled to shack up here for another three weeks. You realize I just lost 350 kilos of pre-code smug comics in transit. Wait, actual physical media? Why didn't you have it digitized? You can't beat the feel of physical media on your fingers. And in here, we ain't gonna be touching a whole lot else. I figured I was gonna pass the time archiving them. What about you? Me? At work, I guess. My task queue stretches out for, like, three years. There's a lot of sharp edges to round off. After that, I hadn't really thought about it. Oh, you will. You're what, 30? Reckon you'll be the one turning the lights off at the end. Food for thought, huh, vegan? This sucks forever. Nah, not forever. Just the rest of your life. That's my way across. It's, uh, held like this for 19 years, right? Well... D don't answer. That's over. Not this way. Maybe further up the shaft. Thank <laughs> you. 
This must have been where they lived. What's left of it? Once, this was all enclosed by rock and metal. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed? We scanned them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. To us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Elizabeth. What is this? This is Charles Ronson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now, who I signed up for? Either we sent someone out, or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think... Oh, no. 
Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's all right. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And... Uh, see you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, all right? Liz. I'm okay with this. was the last transmission of Elizabeth Sobek. She gave everything for the hope of life on this planet. And we are all in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You just for one moment stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. Look, Liz, you were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Liz, you were a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. <clears throat> Hello, Margo. How are you holding up? Um, Dr. Ronson, I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Marco, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. 
I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in this pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Anti Monkosis. What can he do? Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, you found the control room. I'm on my way. this is going continue When I opened the hatch, the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the Alphas were in there. I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh, no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the set system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, I said, stop trying to access the goddamn system. And wh what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're going to give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No. We can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone, all of it, every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Venting atmosphere. This is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future. Blameless men. <sighs> he never saw the slaughter in the sun ring. Everything these people achieved, all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated. 
turned to dust. Scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. No. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made. The world we're living in. It's... It's a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. The Master Override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Try not to fall to your death. The Master Override doesn't override gravity. Keep finding these power cells. What do they do? You're... here. For a moment. What? Our journey together has come to an end, Aloy. But before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been... involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the Eclipse, helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the Spire. Not Meridian. The Spire. Now why would that be? The Spire was created by Gaia. 
Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Thera robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the Jew. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world. Its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and banished tribes. What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge. Especially with the alterations I included of my own design. <laughs> the ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades. But I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. 
Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps, but basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. are complete. Ah, Lucent Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Stay! Stay your ground, Karja in shadow. Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the Alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, shadow of prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. <laughs> 